There is a divine mystery, a secret surprise that has been concealed from the world for generations. But now it's being revealed, unfolded, and manifested for every holy believer to experience. Now Paul said these words 1,960 years ago, but it still applies day. Thank God. So let's see what else it has to say. Living within you is the Christ who floods you with the expectation of glory. The mystery of Christ is embedded within us. It becomes a heavenly treasure chest of hope filled with the riches of glory for his people. And God wants everyone to know it. Christ is our message. We preach to awaken hearts and bring every person into the full understanding of truth. It has become my inspiration and passion in ministry to labor with a tireless intensity with his power flowing through me to present to every believer the revelation of being his perfect one in Jesus Christ. People think there's a new gospel floating around about how God sees us as perfect and holy and righteous, that we are free from sin. They think this is blasphemous, but that is the gospel. That's the gospel. And if you read all of Paul's letters through that context, you will see it everywhere. Instead of believing that you are a wretched sinner saved by grace, you can see that God's will as a father is to encourage his children to know their true identity, that they have now been reconciled back into union with their daddy who loves them and doesn't see them as a wretched rotten sinner. Jesus said, if you see me, you've seen the father. He came to represent the father, to show us the true heart of the father. And the only people that Jesus name called and got mad at were the religious professionals who studied the word, who studied the scriptures, all the prophecies, and they were standing face to face with him and didn't even know that he was the son of God. And they are the ones that wanted him dead. But to everyone else, he just wanted them free. He wanted them free from the works of the enemy. And that is what Jesus said that he came to undo.